coming in because they want to get the Jerry Rice. They're coming in because they play Ultimate Team and they want to see what's going on with all this action. Stevie J is your guy. Madden 25, he played in an event. It's kind of the original kickoff. He lost in the first round, but he comes from that background. Guys like Rose Bowl, guys like Tweezy, a different guy, yep. that were kind of here at the start of this thing. The competitive guys who used to play regular teams and then these Mutt guys, when that went away, popped up. They thought they were the best. Then all these competitive guys came back. Stevie J's kind of blending both worlds right now. So you should go for him if that's your background and that's kind of the community that you dabble with if you're a, a Mutthead guy. One of your pairs, T-Ra, had some good runs. Same same area. Even Shugs dabbled in that, Hot oh, yeah. Shugs dabbled Hot in Shugs, that world yeah. for a while. T-Ra's over in that world, so. Hop on Stevie J's back. He's in this thing now. Well, he did a nice job bottling up that first run from True Boy. And there is just a scream from Everson Griffin. And you talked about the block sheds. There it is. Yeah, the USC third and 22. He comes in. And that is a little bit of a bonus that you get uh, if you don't, you know, Beasley's nice, Averill's nice, Bennett's nice. But Everson Griffin, that's a guy you don't want to sleep on. Got the most feared promo out. That's that's pretty much the most feared guy on the field right now. Scary good, man. Third and 22, uh -oh. got to get rid of it. He almost threw a Stevie and not in the good way. Off the back foot. <laughs> he does get it to a manageable fourth and seven. He's going to go for it. He's probably not going to pound the rock. He's in the gun spread. Let's see what True Boy has cooked up here against Stevie. Crucial to start the game with this, this momentum after starting out 0-1. Big play, fourth and seven. Wilson gets rid of it, and Jimmy Graham is wide open. Nice read. Jimmy Graham, six foot seven, scary tall. Can't miss Jimmy Graham. <laughs> Cannot miss Jimmy Graham. Wide open. Stevie brought pressure both ways. I like that you send it when you're not sure what to do. Fourth down, send it, try and sneak one in. But a great read from Chuboy. Right up the seam, confident throw. Still not the Saints, Jimmy Graham, but he's pretty good. Not the Saints, Jimmy Graham. Jimmy Graham was so good. He'll stretch it outside, and boy, Stevie J's ready for this. He's, He's ready prepared. for the stretch. He prepares really, really well. He's got lab partners in this community, guys he plays with, guys that lab him up, get him ready. And he is prepared for this opportunity. He's been waiting for it for a long time. Goes to UCF in Central Florida, so he's right around where they create Madden. He's got some local friends in that area. Great to see this kid out here playing nice on this opening drive. Hey, he's the kind of guy to just show up at the studio. Yeah. Over there at Tipperon. Oh, he's been there. Rex brings him in. This guy gives great feedback. So we need as many community members like a Stevie J as we can get. Pulls back his coverage oh, there. And what a play. You talked about Anthony Barr, and he's got wheels. And Stevie J, hello, welcome to the Classic. Anthony Barr talked about him in the pregame. Six foot five, lurk in the middle. He usered one route. He usered two routes. Then he came back, user the third route, gets a nice stretchy animation, and that is why you see that guy all over Madden. See it right underneath the bullet pass. User lurk on that banner up at the top of the screen, and he carries it all the way in, and he gives you a little let's go. Dion Buchanan, Shazier, and Barr. Those are the keys to get some dubs in Madden. Those are three guys that will get it done for your ultimate team. Bar with the height, a little bit slower, but you get a little bit of that. You saw that, his ability to stretch there. shazier has got the speed. I like Buchanan too. Mark Barron's another option. Uh, if you got no coins, <laughs> maybe you got to go uh, Gruger, Gruger Hill. <laughs> Some random guys out there. Well, now True Boy's got to bounce back. He's trailing by seven after the pick six. And he goes back to the stretch, breaks a few tackles, picks up three. And in the pregame, we talked about the run dominance for True Boy. He passed. He had to pass on the fourth and seven. He got one. Then he kept passing. Now you're down seven. Play your game. It seems like your run's been stopped early. Don't force the pass quite yet. He's using that Atlanta playbook. He was using the Falcons in the first game. And all of a sudden, just switches it up. But he kind of said that. Coming into the Classic, he's like, how I'm feeling, that's the team I'm going to use. He even told us he might use the Eagles, which I was like, oh, don't bluff me. Don't, 
Don't bluff me, that's not happening. Well, they've got the best record in the NFL after the Chiefs last night, so. What Skimbo needed, ooh. And Rawls gets free, cuts it back on Harrison Smith, but he's able to wrap him up at the 35. Great stick work from Stevie on defense to be in the open field with Rawls. He's got Smith. We've seen some runs at the end of big runs today get broken, but just containing that, you give up an extra 10 yards or so, but you don't give up the big play now with True Play at the 35. Split backs, mm. answer to Rawls mm. on the power O. Take a yeah. look at this, Farles. I mean, this is how you get to number two in the classics in the uh, championship standings last year. If you're true boy, with stick work like this, that is exactly how you do. You got young thumbs, you pound the rock. That's why you stick with the run dominance. Yeah, you could use a juke there, but that would slow you down. So he just manually cuts it back. You see those receivers to the right? That is the gun bunch wide. It's found in Atlanta. They don't have the regular gun bunch. They got gun bunch wide. So it's similar, but a little bit different. Not quite what you see every player use. And there is Wilson. He tries to throw a dip and he dot. No. Couldn't get the feed in. Makes it third and 11. And now you're in a tough situation. You're on the edge of field goal range. So you got to either get a couple yards. You definitely can't take a sack. You're already down seven. Big, crucial down here. Needs 11. Got to get to the 25 yard line for True Boy. Up under center is Russell Wilson. Stevie J pulls the coverage back once again. Takes it to ProSize. Oh Looks downfield and he throws place. another one. Oh my God. And this time it's the oh my God, bro. Clemson, former Clemson, oh Mackenzie God, Alexander. True. What are you doing, True? What are you doing? They're everywhere. You, you can't Team stop Clemson. I mean, look at the safeties in coverage, That's and so there's not even a guy within a mile of that so pass. Bad. That's so bad. True boy disappointed with himself, upset. Bad throw, but also just a bad wow. read. And Stevie J capitalizes. Now he takes over at the 30. Well, you know, Xavier Rhodes had great coverage, and then Mackenzie Alexander was just there to take the spoils away from that one. And here is Murray. It's the first time Stevie oh, J up, has Come had on. the ball yeah. on offense in this game after the pick six by Anthony Barr. Yeah, and he didn't spend much time on offense with Skimbo dominating the time of possession in the previous game. So we're going to see this offense notice. He's not in the tight slots at the moment. Bridgewater instead in shotgun with Latavius Murray rather than McKinnon. And he'll hand it off to Murray. And he'll take it to the 40-yard line. Wrong. And That's interesting, right. you know, we talked about will he use Sam Bradford. We made fun of his picture. and. He's with Teddy Two Gloves here on third and two. I like it. I like the ability there to counter some of True Boy's calls on defense. True Boy's going to use Tampa Two, cover four, get some delayed runs in there. Defenders back up, get out of the way. Stevie picks up some yards. Run game, his bread and butter. Let's see if he keeps it in the middle here or if he goes out to the pitch. 82 speed on that Teddy Two Gloves. Is he going to let it tick? He's going to move this to the second Damn, quarter, bro. and why not? You got the lead, and you got a big third and two coming up. Crucial third and two here. 3-3-5 three, three, wide for True Boy. We'll have to take a look and see. Does he decide with the tackle here, tackle there, to try and hit that lane in the middle? Or... You're like the Bob Ross of... <laughs> I paint, that's, what I, that's how I live. Are, are you, you're, you're killing me, Smalls. Uh, I'm killing everybody. We would really like to clear this screen. <laughs> anyway. Yay! For the first, no! <laughs> Farrells has gone off the rails here. I don't even know if it's showing up. We're good. Four you're three. not the Crucial John Madden. Play. You're Crucial not play. the John Madden of this thing. Damn, bro. What? And a nice job. There by Stevie J. Took his lumps for Skimbo. Has some confidence with that pick six, and he's looking good on the drive. I mean, fourth and three, you convert. You've got the ball. You keep the lead. You go into the second quarter. You frustrate True Boy a little bit more. That's a big time throw for this kid on fourth down. Follow Stevie J on Twitter at I'm Stevie J. Just got a text from Gibbs. He says, you're no longer allowed to tell us straight. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna end my tell us straight <laughs> skills here 
You guys will have to imagine what I'm drawing. I'm going to draw pictures with my words, and you put them in your mind, rather than me just draw stuff on the monitor. So second and ten. We have yet to see really the pitch play. We said there would be pitch. I thought there would be more pitch. Yeah, I thought there would be more pitch as well. Oh my Danny. God, how are we not getting And a, a nice throw it. under pressure <laughs> Since six by people. Bridgewater. And that's another first down for CVJ. Great work staying in the pocket, stepping up. We saw a pocket presence from Dubby. He's got great stick work in the pocket. And that is a place you can improve. Just because you have Teddy Bridgewater doesn't mean you can't chill in the pocket a little bit. Oh, and that God, was man. able to kind of form around him, deliver the throw downfield, move the chains, hang on to the ball, keep the lead, and once again, frustrate True Boy. Well, we haven't seen a lot of Bridgewater in the NFL. He's had a, a little bit of the injury bug, but at Louisville, that's what he did. I mean, he stayed in the pocket and made the big play with his arm. And here's Murray. Doesn't pick up anything, and True Boy knows he needs to stop. Four rushes for seven yards. In the last game, same thing. Four, he had four carries for no yards. He's got the lead, though, this time, and that's good for him. Spe when you're not doing what you do best and you're still winning, huge for Steve. He's got to keep this thing going, keep playing conservative, control the game. McKinnon now in, though. Let's see if that'll change up the pace. We are waiting for the pitch. Play clock running down. Here's the motion. And he goes the opposite way. And McKinnon's got wheels. And what a spin move. And McKinnon to the 18. Finally sends it out wide. The motion, we showed you in Stevie J's tip earlier, you motion to that side. This time he goes away from it. Has just enough blockers out there. An amazing user spin. Great work from the youngster. So he's inside the red zone. Controlling the clock. True Boy will probably stop it again. He's got one timeout now at 2.30. Condensing down into that red zone. Going to get really tough for Stevie to run the ball. We'll have to see. Does he have something special? He didn't bust out any plays against Skimbo that I noticed. Does this formation have some routes? Is it going to be something coming back over the middle? That could be where he goes for a nice high point pass. Second and six now. Another pitch. You wanted more pitch? Bobby Wagner says I'm ready. The chat requested more pitch. <laughs> we requested more pitch. And he's given the fans what they want. Yards outside. Good stick work. Great stuff. He shouted out his man Jay for hooking up him with the offense and he's been running it to perfection ever since as he took down the Las Vegas Challenger event. Yeah, nobody was ready for more pitch in Vegas. And he got in his feels a little bit after that win. He really felt like really disrespected that no one believed he could do it. Nobody really believes he should be here. You saw the, the social poll results. They feel like he was going to be the one to bounce. Big fourth and two. I was like, hey man, when you saw the groups, How'd that, how'd that go? How was that day? Yeah. Because when I saw the groups and I saw two champs and True Boy as high as number two last year, I was like, he's like, I know nobody's going to pick me, man, but you got to look at where I'm coming from. I'm coming from the 33rd spot last year. Every single day, I have just fought through this, and now he's going to cash in to go up two scores. Well, he's number seven in the MCS right now. And puts a... Field goal through the uprights, and he's got a 10-point lead here with 156 to go in the half. His UCF Knights football team's undefeated. Yeah. Scott Frost, Nebraska. Of course, Scott Frost, the former Nebraska quarterback, played safety for the St. Louis Rams. Yeah. But uh, said... I'm a quarterback. And they said, well, that's fine. You're done playing in the NFL. They, they, they air crouched him. They gave him the air crouch treatment. Yeah. It's no bueno. That's happened to a few of Nebraska's quarterbacks. Thomas Rawls gets free. Harrison Smith doesn't have the speed. And Dr. Rawls once again is making house calls. I like what I Run it. dominance. Sticking with the ground game. Keeping it going. Getting a big score before the half to make it a one possession game because Steve's going to get the ball here. 
And now, True Boys completely back in this thing. 81 yards for Thomas Rawls, right up the middle. Great patience. A lot of people online, they only want to run the ball outside. They only want to run the pitch. You have to take the dive when it's there. You have to go up the middle because you can crib these runs the long way if you can oh, just get it done. And Thomas Rawls is strong in head-to-head -head mode. Take a look at this, the rushing yards for True Boy, although he's trailing by three. That's a, that's a major yards of the first half. 186 for True Boy, Some great stick work on those runs. We might have an NFL record going on. Indeed. Oh. Handed off to McKinnon, he goes absolutely nowhere. It's not a Madden record, because in Madden 2003, I did a fantasy draft with Marshall Falk, and I ran weak toss for <laughs> 2,900 yards in a season. So he's got a little bit of ways to go to catch me, but he's on, he's doing good. Second and 11 now for CVJ, and he has a wide open right at the 36-yard line. Minute 16 to go. He's going hurry up style. He kind of, I don't want to say he settled for the field goal, but it was smart to get it. But he, with three timeouts, you got to come out. You got to think touchdown on this drive. And McKinnon. Good tackle, Cam. Crucial tackle for Chance. So he could have been spun out of his shoes. That would have been really bad as he beat the first defender already. He was pretty much the last hope for True Boy. And when you have Earl and you have Cam, that's what you pay. That's why you play with the Seahawks. So 102 Let's go. left here in the second quarter. True Boy trailing by three points. Boy, if Stevie J could get seven here, that would be huge. Poor Adam Thielen getting no, no reps. <laughs> He's out there running his routes, so I can tell you that. Draw goes nowhere. Now you're facing third and eight. The clock is in your favor because you have full control. True Boy has no control over it, so you can wait as long as you want. But now you start to think, Am I? And now you're playing for the field goal because you do get the ball. So big decisions here from Stevie. And this might be one where you look back and say, man, I could have played this one differently. Third and eight. And he goes to the what corner route. What is corner doing? Like, what? Hit that against Skimbo in the first off. game. Goes back to it in a big time wow. moment. And now you instantly go from field goal to I'm getting a touchdown on this drive. You have one wow. uh, timeout to go here. You had to use it. Clock is stopped at 31 seconds. Didn't give him the out of bounds. That was the rookie Cooley out of Miami, the U, with a big time catch. Uh, I can't I gave up Very three. risky. Don't like it with only one timeout. I like it if you have two, because you could use one. Now you're in a hurry up. Now you're kind of panicking. And you want to say that timeout so you can cash it on a field goal if it all goes wrong. Oh my goodness. Touchdown would be huge. Pitches it again. Gets the block. Are you gets to me? the edge. And it's a That's touchdown, so Stevie J. So and that was enormous. Pitch perfect for Stevie <laughs> J. freaking linemen are running around. He stuck oh God, with the ground whatever. game. He kicked it out wide. True Boy was shocked. So it's 17 7 before the half. Amazing patience and confidence. He said, Barros, I got wow. this. I can run the ball because I know exactly what I'm doing with my offense. I've got the Vikings. Look at him get to the edge. The seal, 62, grabs it. You see Wagner get caught up in the blockers, mm, and McKinnon has crazy. the speed. He's been a Madden sleeper for like seven years. I've drafted him on my fantasy, fantasy team every time. It never works out, but it's great for Madden. That was Nick Eason, the left guard. Give those, give those hogs some love. The guys up front, you know? They're important. They're really important. It helps. It helps. Every bit helps. Well, you know, on, on these pitch plays, traps, whams, the, the speed and the agility of the linemen play a you huge like, part. You sound like a Batman comic book. <laughs> Trap, wham, bam, pow. Oh, wow. Those all run types? Holy pitch, Batman. <laughs> Boom. Well, True Boy will hand it off here to Rawls. He's oh trying to have a big God. play here before the half. No timeouts. Fuck, bro. 17-7. I didn't say it, but he said it. I mean, it's a, this is a tough half, and a lot of it was based on that pick six that he threw to start the game as Anthony Barr picked it off for that man right there, Stevie J. Yeah, Scott, first game, you know, yeah, play one and one. Stevie J, after getting beat by Skimbo pretty good, had time to get composed, 
go over some stuff, and then he starts the game with a pick six. That immediately just takes all the pressure off you because now you're playing with a lead, you know you're going to get the ball, and you know you like to run the ball. You're not going to be under pressure or stressed at any point in the game. So for him to come out and get that, remarkable. Yeah, I mean, he bounced back. You, you, you pretty much were in flood conditions against Skimbo, and, and, he, and he bounced back. Yeah, if – if that game maybe had been right after it or True Boy had snuck that one out and then he's got the momentum, it could have just been a, a bad day. But now you got control of this one, but True Boy is one of the best and he could battle back. So you just want to stay focused. You don't want to consider that. It's, you know, in the book, in the books. Let's go to halftime with Dave and Rico. Thank you, Scott. Rico, Stevie J is doing everything in his power to make you look really, really good about your rock solid picks. He has shown up in this first half. What did you see? Before the game started, I went to Stevie J and I was like, are you playing with the Vikings? Are you sure you're playing with the Vikings? Are you really going to stick with the Vikings? He looked at me and was like, absolutely. You go commentate, I'm going to play my game. You saw what happened, True Boy didn't win against Dubby. He left his Atlanta, switched to Seattle. You can't let somebody get you out of your game. Stevie stuck with it. He's playing a great first half. He's getting the ball back. Stevie J is about to be Stevie W. There you go. We are seeing that consistency out of Stevie J. Let's take a look at our bracket. We can see who has already advanced from Group B. We see Tweez automatically into the semifinal as the one seed. Chaos and Joke filling it out. Group A looking to join them to play tomorrow in these wild card games into a semifinal, into a final. Rico, it's going to be pretty exciting. Absolutely. I don't know if we can get much more exciting than this. You're seeing runs, passes, last second plays. That's what the Madden Classic is all about. Absolutely. Now, we saw earlier, Farrell's got a couple of tips from our guy, Stevie J. Let's see what Dubby has to offer in our latest edition of Tips and Tricks. What's up, gamers? Z Farrell's here to teach you how to play like a champion. Today, we're breaking down the game of Dub.Dubby, the man who did the impossible last year at the Madden Bowl and brought a championship to Philadelphia. Let's go inside his Green Bay Packers playbook and find out how he has the confidence to make big time plays downfield. It starts out with the ability to block extra players to get the time that he needs. At the snap of the ball, you'll see both these players stay in to block. The play action fake picks up the pressure and now he's got two receivers running free. We pause it and you see that defender right there. He has to make a decision. And then Dubby, like the pro he is, slides her out back downfield, sets his feet, delivers a strike. Possession catch on the sideline moves the chains. Some people want it, some people need it, and Dubby needs another championship this season, and he's trying to get one at the Madden Classic. Very impressive stuff. Farrells, when I throw the ball deep like that, it doesn't usually work out for me. How cool is it to see Dubby breaking down what he does for you? It's great. The ability to really get that defender caught up in one area, and that's what makes the whole thing go. He sets his feet. He's got a big arm, and that's why he's sitting really pretty right now in the Madden Classic. Super impressive stuff. There's a reason he's a legend in the community. There's a reason that he's here right now. Right now, we've got Adrian. She's down on the sidelines. She's with Stevie J. Adrian? Thanks, Dave. Yes, Stevie J, Minnesota Vikings. Why? Um, I'm a defensive player, and they have a really great front seven. Uh, they have the best user in the game in Anthony Barr, and they have a strong running game. And you seem to be using that running game pretty well. And in Vegas, the HB pitch, you know, that advanced you pretty far. And I know you didn't really use it early on, but you did pull it out in the second. What changed your game plan? Um, well, I got a pick six to start the game, which was huge, and I get ball at half. So it allowed me to play from ahead, which is obviously better than playing from behind. But uh, I just tried to, to just make the most of my possessions and uh, grind out the clock a little bit. Well, wish you the best of luck in the next half. Zach, Scott, back to you. All right. Well, we're getting ready for the second half here. And Stevie J, he was talking that confidence. You know what I mean? And all of a sudden, he's showing it on the field for the first time. Yeah, I mean, this kid has composure. He speaks very well. Javaruski is what the J stands for. <laughs> if you were wondering at home, I've been working on that pronunciation for some time. He's a psychology major at UCF. He really enjoys playing Madden. It's a hobby of his, and he's a big part of this community that we have been developing here for the last few seasons. So it's great to have him be on the big stage and put together a nice first half. Well, you got a lead, and now you got to prove that you can play with a lead against a guy like True Boy. For True Boy, the problem is, is you're a run-first guy, and you're trailing by 10. 
right? But we've seen him have the ability to hit big plays in the run game. It's almost like the West Coast offense, they use passes to simulate runs. True Boy just simulates runs with pass, <laughs> passes with run, whatever. He just runs for long yardage. He doesn't really get concerned about the clock. He has to get a stop, though, on defense. He's got to figure out something for this pitch. Stevie kind of slow played him into it. He's like, ah, I'm not going to run pitch this game. Okay, I'll try it. Touchdown. So... It's stoppable. It's defendable. It's just that it's annoying. It's just really annoying. It's you know every play in Madden can be defended. It's just what do you have to give up? What adjustment do you have to make to stop it? And with the ability for that formation to look, you know, balanced, you can flip it and nobody knows. You can playmaker it. You can motion a guy and run it one way or the other way, and not really have them, you know, have a tell. It can be really frustrating. Well, he almost returned the second half kickoff. Almost took it to the house. They got tripped up, shoelace tackle at the 29, and that's where he'll start in the tight slots. And the total yards in this game are pretty equal, but it's really been that one turnover, that pick six for Anthony Barr, that was the game changer. McKinnon once again cuts it back upfield to the 35. If I'm counting my top plays so far, Skimbo's punt returns probably at number one. Stevie J's pick six, definitely number two. That's what I've got so far. i got to fill out the rest. We'll see if there's any other big plays later. I'm sure there were some good ones earlier, but it feels like forever, man. It does. It's been a lot of Madden today. There's eight, you know, eight groups of matches in total. I would also like to put a bounty. If somebody could get the W in True Boy Handshake and put it, set it to the music of the Titanic, I would really like to see that in my Twitter timeline later. So music of the Titanic with the handshake, no handshake, GIF. And uh, we're going to have Adam on the Mixer Post Game Show break down that handshake. The whole thing. The whole thing. We'll do the Kiv one. We'll do this one. I can't wait to see it. Absolutely love it. You want more pitch? You got more pitch. This time the spin move doesn't break them free. And we got a big third and six coming up. And if you're watching and you're like, I want to do that spin move, or what's the best spin move, or why do I always get spin moved against online? I'll tell you after this play how to do it. LTB. <laughs> I play. You can see the... Play selection, very balanced. Oh, wow. Great. And there is the rookie oh. once again. Cooley out to the 50. Uh, the playmaker on that sets Stevie J apart. He's got his receiver standing there waiting for him. He uses the right stick and says, hey, go out this way, little buddy. Sends his receiver out there, not even counting the spin, but just an incredible use of playmaker to move the receiver closest to you with the right stick. That's some delicate Madden. I don't know if you want to put it in the spin cycle, but he does it anyway. Yes, Scott. Left trigger and B. It's nasty. We'll, uh, it's absolutely we'll get you that nasty. precision spin. And if your guy has a 90 spin move rating, so check your ultimate team. Head on over to Mudhead and check that out. That is going to get you the best version, tier one. Who's your uh, halfback at this moment? At this moment, it is the level master. Ladanian? Ladanian Thomas. He's got 90 I, everything. I mix it up. Yeah, you know, I mix nice. it up a little bit. Be nice. but sometimes I run the bus. I have a gold offensive line. All right. I don't, I don't want to talk about that. All right. We don't, we don't talk about it. It's not something you talk about at parties. Second and six. My line's all 92 plus with the, with the Kim. Be nice. I'm a man of the people, so, you know. No, no S. Gibbs out here with every item. Second and six. A lot of audibles going down here. And he moves Rudolph in motion, and that's where he'll pitch it. And it's absolutely snuffed out by True Boy's defense. Rudolph, the red-nosed tight end, kicked out, had a very shiny block. But True Boy was there waiting off the edge. Short side of the field, you don't think that's where you want to kind of go with those open side plays. He knows better than I do, but at third and 11, you're probably going to have to pass in this situation as he backs up Bridgewater into the shotgun. But you really need some good protection. Maybe he goes to play like PA post. Bunch to the right. Dig solo to the left. Imagine me drawing a squiggly yellow line right over a post <laughs> in the middle of the field. Use your Don't mind. Don't do it. Use Don't your mind. Don't do it. Yep. That's plenty of time. Just rushing two. Bridgewater. Ah, will just throw it away. And that's, hey, I'm up by 10 kind of pass. Yeah, I think if you're down by 10, you throw that to B. Because he was standing there pretty close. You needed a little zip on it to get it. But I think when you're up 10, you say, you know what? I'm not going to do this. I'd rather go for it on fourth and 11 from midfield because I'm a Madden guy. That's what a, that's a Madden <laughs> that's guy. That's a Madden guy. Move. I mean, we've seen some classic Madden moves today. Oh, yeah. We've seen Rage. 
We've seen the handshakes. We've seen guys sitting on the couch. We've seen regular teams. Another classic Mana Guy move is going for it on fourth down. Under two minutes to go here in the third. Both these guys 0-1 in their groups in the Madden Classic. Stevie J as the Vikings with a 10-point lead. Oh. And he's got a man. Let's go. And finally Thielen finds him down at the five-yard line. You're waiting for it. Adam Thielen, the this guy. He sneaks him in, and then he burns him deep with Thielen. True boy, not oh happy, God. but he Burns, Wagner, Sherman, and I'll Earl look at Thomas. my notes here, Those but I'm pretty Seahawks sure. three defenders, you add up their overall ratings, carry the two. It's going to be at least 287 overall. It was his dream Thielen. to play for the Vikings. Oh, you know, he played smokes. at Minnesota State. So it's out here balling in, in, in 2018. Man, Minnesota, site of the Super Bowl this year, baby. Yeah, we'll be up there a few times. Club Series, and then at the very end. And then the Ultimate League on a big touchdown by Stevie J. Do you, I haven't even got your reaction on the Ultimate League. It's amazing. I, I just This kid's having a moment. <laughs> this kid is having a moment on that couch. Yeah. This is one of those tweets, I'm out of my body. He's fought so long to get here. Look, he beat good players at the event. He took down Joke, Shift God Cole, Lynch Tolliver, very good player. But now you're sitting on the couch. You just played the champ, and it didn't go so well. But now you're playing True Boy. And this stick, this cut back inside with Murray. I mean, he goes to with Earl to fill. That's how you know you have a great ground game. Like, like that, that face, man, that says 33 to me. And I'm proud of this kid. Yeah, he's fought. You know, when he could have gave up, he actually used it as motivation. And he's got a big lead here over True Boy, who I thought played amazing offense as Atlanta with Seattle. It's looked very stagnant against Stevie J. Yeah, you're going to go back and watch that one. You're going to see your three best defenders get burnt by Thielen on four, a big fourth down. You're just going to be like, that was the play I needed because I needed to keep it a two-score game before I get ball. Now you're down three scores, and it changes everything you want to do on offense. Oh my God. And there is Wilson. He'll take it to the 33. Falcons playbook, spreading it out. I like it. I like this, the single back spread under center. A lot of the times, certain blitzes will give under center trouble. There'll be plays where, go to YouTube, some guy sending eight blitzers against five blockers. Kill, it works kill, every time, kill bro. Under center. Kill, under center is dead. It is dead. Uh, so it's good that at this stage of the year, they, they feel like they can run under center, and it's working for them. So third and three, true boy. Trailing by 17. Need some luck from the Madden Gods. And Jimmy Graham's going to be short, it looked like. And here's the play of the game thus far. This is your ball game, Scott. End of the third quarter, clock's ticking down, and you see that red line only means one thing. Advance there, or die trying. It's my favorite 50 Cent movie. Well, the tough thing with the hurry up is you're, you're kind of in a pass defense as far as formationally. Crazy. And he's going to let this one go to the fourth quarter. Put up your fours. And you, True you, boy fighting for his life. You need the clock, but you also really need the first down. So it's probably wise to reset, settle. you got to call your best play here. I'm sure coaches on their play call sheet, the Ben McAdoo looks like he's ordering from the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> it's like giant menu, slick back hair. Giants are 0-5, 1-5. I'm really sad about it. But I'm sure there's a section like in desserts that's like best play. Well, he goes to the air, and it's a quick throw to Doug Baldwin, and that'll move the sticks and keep his hopes alive. Big chain mover. Big chain critical. Good strike. Good patience. Needed it. Got it. Wilson again. This time it's Thomas Rawls coming across the middle. He's still on his feet. Down to the 20. Down to the 20. And at this stage, it's you need a field goal. You need to stop. You know the situation. You just have to do whatever you're going to do. Do it fast. And what a dot to Jimmy Graham and fight, young fella. Crucial throw. What a play. Steps up, finds Jimmy Graham. Still not the Saints Jimmy Graham, but looking more and more like it every day. And true boy, able to pass, show that he has more than just one dimension on the ground. And he's going to go for two here, which is a bold strategy, Cotton. <laughs> trying to figure this one out. 
but he's feeling confident right now, stretches it out, and it's an 11 point game. I, I don't get it. Anthony Barr, that is the guy. There's a touchdown on a bullet pass over the user. So that's Kendricks. He doesn't have the height of Barr. That's Barr there. Yeah. Maybe you don't throw that, but if you're true boy, he just, it's like, man, this isn't that hard. This shouldn't be that hard for him. And we're going onside, kids. Terrence Newman, fan favorite. 94 zone coverage, Mutt Hero. Get one in your lineup. Good stuff. Yeah, if you don't have Newman and Talib on the Mutt Hero set, you're doing it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> you're doing Madden wrong if you don't have those two. So an 11 point game after the onside kick. That makes a short field. And I don't, I think, I do like that because you're going to need it. to get another possession. And if he kicks a field goal, it's fine anyways. 27 13, you're still within it. So I like that. And here's McKinnon. I'm just, I'm trying to do the math in my head of why go for two. It doesn't, it doesn't add up. You're down 17, it doesn't add up. Yeah, maybe there's a field goal in here somewhere that he's nervous about, then he could still get, I don't know. I'm horrible at math. You already know my stance on mathematics. Second and 11 for Stevie J. And if he doesn't take this play clock down to 2 3 1, somewhere in there every time. And those pitch plays take a lot of time off the clock. Yes. 42 yard line. He's on the brink. I think this is four down territory for him because a first down really would break the back of, of this thing because it would really put the game in a tight situation. He wants to save those three timeouts as much as he can. 325. Safety's down in the box. Will he pass? Boy, you know, so many bad things can happen. A pick six would really give True Boy life. And uh, I know it's cliche, but I think it's more pitch time. Oh, he's going to go to the air. What if my and it's a quick throw to the on. tight end, Rudolph. And he's so down bad. to the 36. Oh nice play. Oh, Get some infield goal oh, range. Right on the edge. Yeah, I'm not sure you kick a field goal here. He doesn't it would make it a, two, a full two-score game. Yeah. It would be a 14-point game. He's taking it. I like it. I like it with two. He's got some confidence. 40 to go. True Boy will then have to have a fast drive to save his timeouts. This is Kai Forbath. Who? Cobra Cat. <laughs> Cobra <laughs> Cat Forbath. 87 kick on. When, when it's blowing left or right and a little bit back. Just a hair. Right on the edge. Kicks it. Wow. And it is good. An absolute <sighs> bomb of a kick to make it a 14-point game. Cobra. Kai. Forbath delivers the two-score lead. And now True Boy's going to have to get moving. A kick return could be big. <laughs> and lock it. We'll um, go no further. We haven't seen one yet today. No. But we've seen the lane. We've seen they've been one block away. But just in these head to head modes, it doesn't seem like there's that. It doesn't quite get you there. The UCF grad has got a girlfriend that goes to Florida State rivals, but UCF ranked. I think UCF could beat Florida State. This Florida State year. not ranked. <laughs> Without Francois. Game is not ranked, I don't think. No, they're not. It's uh, Orlando's hometown team, the UCF Knights. Psychology major, and he's in True Boy's head right now. Second and nine. Oh, you know, I, of course, I have Clemson to the t uh, you know tickets to the Clemson Florida State game, but it's the Arizona Club Series that weekend. So you know where I'm going. I'm headed to Phoenix, baby. Hey, <laughs> Phoenix, Glendale. Great. That's going to be a good one. Third and nine. And Graham will pick up the first down out to the 43. You're you going to need some big plays. And you're going to need an onside kick. Yeah, and you know Stevie's bad crew of T. Davis, Lockdown, Strafen, Jeter, Swizzy, and Warhawk are just watching right now, hoping that he gets one more stop. Defensively, not only does he use the Vikings, Strafen was their rep, but he just kind of calls a bunch of different random defenses, and he mixes it up really nice. Not doing anything specific. He can send heat from everything. You see the alignment on the right side. 
but he'll change out his shells, and that could be what frustrates True Boy the most here. He's going to give him that scramble. He's going to get a hit on the quarterback. It's going to force True Boy to go hurry up. He's got to save his three timeouts. He'll give him that all day long. So second and six, 70 seconds left in this one. At some point, you got to take some chances. Uh, and this is a hurry, nice hurry. throw down the six yard line. Paul Richardson pulls it in. And now you need that red zone play. You need that high point. This is where you go back to a guy like Jimmy Graham. Deliver one throw. Sack. Dude, that's Christ. a huge oh, sack at the 11 yard line, Zach. <sighs> Still has a three timeout, so there is hope regardless of whether or not he needs an onside kick. Big time sack there. Everson Griffin, who else? That front seven Stevie talked He's about. He's balling. They're coming up big. 40 seconds. Got to get in in the next two plays. Can't afford another sack. And then you have a shot. You still kick onside again. He does have three timeouts, but. Yeah, we don't Can't want afford not to uh, having Jimmy Graham go to the flat there. It doesn't help unless they leave it open, but you, you got to get him into the end zone where he can go up big. He's going to throw it that direction, it. but it's actually Doug Baldwin who pulls it in for the score. That was sick. That was pretty yeah, wild. You throw it where <laughs> one of two players can get it. You throw it to Graham, but you know what? Angry Doug Baldwin, <laughs> he's really good in this game. Not a lot of people have him on the squad. Yeah. He plays really, really good. Hanging on. That mummy, I call this the mummy catch. This is the mummy catch because he looks like a mummy when he gets it. They almost never hang on to that. But he he did. That's big. And yeah, you needed it more than ever. And now you go on sidekick. He needs it. No. Oh my God. And it's scooped up. Adam Thielen is nominated for two Z Farrell's plays of the game. Two <laughs> nominees. Because he came up with an onside kick recovery and an amazing deep route to really settle this one. But with True Boy with his timeouts, you got to pound the rock. You just got to figure out, is he going to go pitch or will he go dive? Well, this is where you hate conservative ball carrying yeah. if, if you're True Boy. Yeah, imagine me drawing a lot of yellow lines to the left side of the screen. Big hit. Takes the timeout. In this situation, Scott, he's going to be able to get the clock down to about 25 seconds. Then he'll have to punt. That'll take another bit. So True Boy will have no timeouts in about 19 seconds left. This is if this, he can continue to stop it. This is where a guy like Dubby would try to get the first down. He, he wants to. He wants to be in control. And all he needs wow. is a spin move. And he got to go down. And that's a win for God, Stevie J. Man. Lays down. Inbounds, clock continues to move. I bet he will, will, will we see him take a field goal with the block potential? Point differential, one and one. True Boy's gonna go to 0 oh and two. We've got Skimbo and True Boy at one and one, but remember, Skimbo defeated yeah. Stevie J. So there's a whole By a lot big margin. <laughs> huge margin in this. He's gonna let the clock tick out and not kick the field goal, not risk a block in this situation. If you're up eight, uh, nine points, maybe you go for it, but doesn't want to do it. A great victory. For the youngster. Well, he bounces back. You know, the first game against Skimbo, you get absolutely really dismantled. I don't want to say flooded, but he got dismantled and bounces back, had a nice pick six, and really sort of rode that wave. Yeah, defensive turnovers. He gave up one, and then in the next game, he comes out, sets the tone with an amazing interception from Barr. Lurked three routes on one play. It's what great players do. Gets the ball, gets possession. Goes to the pitch when he needs it most. Holds on to a tough tough little game at the end there. Gets the two onside kicks. Great stuff for Stevie. Well, let's go down to the third member of our team, Adrian. Thanks so much. Here with Stevie J. Congratulations on your win. And it's your first win of the day. How do you feel? Feels great. I uh, played awful in the first game. Played a lot better the second game. And I uh, just got to take that momentum right into the third game. And what did you change about your game plan in this game? Um, I was able to run the ball a little bit more. Uh, I played a lot better defense. Uh, I avoided big plays, and I made some of my own. And tell me, when you're moving forward in your next matchup, how do you plan to adjust? Um, I just be, need to be quicker with my adjustments and uh, just, not ma just not make unforced errors, and I think I'll be fine. I wish you the best. Dave Enrico. Thank you, Adrian. 